Hi there, I'm Weston, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own 3D Genshin Impact effect using TikTok Effect House. So let's get right into it. After installing and downloading TikTok Effect House, you'll be on this screen. You can go ahead and click Templates and scroll all the way down to the AR Placement Template. This is how we're going to make our first effect. You'll click on it and it will load. Awesome. So this is Effect House. If this is your first time, welcome. We're very happy to have you. I'll go ahead and show you briefly how this effect works. On the right hand side here is our preview window. If you click and drag this little alien character here, you can move him around the scene. I want to replace this alien character with one of my favorite Genshin Impact characters. But first, I have to import their model. So I'm going to go over to the Assets panel on the left hand side here. I'm going to click Add Asset import from computer. I'm going to use Elon here and I'm going to import Elon's idle FBX animation. And I'll click import. So now they're in our assets panel. It will also import their materials and textures or we're going to import the textures separately actually, but it will import all the materials. So I'm going to go ahead and click Elon, who's in the Assets panel, and drag them to our scene, just like that. Now you'll notice they're very large in our scene, so I'm going to scale them down. I like using the In-Scene Scaling tool, so I'll click this button here, it says Scale, and then I'll click this cube here, and I can scale them down in the scene. A little too much there. All right, I'm, now I can sort of see them in our scene. Let's adjust it a little bit. Now I want to apply textures to Elon, so I'm going to import them. I'll go to Add Asset, Import from Computer. I have a folder with all of their textures on it, so I will shift click and add their body, face, and hair texture. Now the textures are in my Assets panel. I can see them on the right hand side here in the preview window. Now I'm going to go to Elon's materials. I'll start with the body and I'll click texture on and I'll click I'll go down here and I'll click Elon body. That's already looking very good. Now we'll go to the face. I'll do the same thing. Texture on face and one last thing, hair mat, Elon hair. Great. They're looking very good there. So now all we have to do, and their animation is automatically playing as well. So now I want them to move with our alien. So I'm going to go ahead and click Elon's idle animation in our hierarchy and drag it onto the replace me. Now you'll see if we move the alien, Elon will move too. So I'm going to go ahead and disable our alien figure. And now we can see that Elon is moving in our scene. I'm going to scale Elon down just a little bit to make it easier to see. Great. Now I can move them around. I'll scale them down just a little more. Very nice. And there's our Genshin Impact character in our 3D scene. And they have an animation and textures. Well done. I'm going to show you how to make one more effect, one of my favorites. It's called Body Avatar Drive. It allows the user to make an effect that copies the animations of a human body in the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this effect right here. We're going to do this in the same project. So I'm going to say full body dancing. So now we have someone dancing in our scene. I'm going to click add object, AR tracking, body avatar drive. Now I want to import one more person, my personal favorite Genshin Impact character. I'm going to click Hu Tao and import their FBX. Now Hu Tao's FBX doesn't have any animations on it, so I'm just importing it as it is, and I'll drag it to the scene. 
and I'm going to drag Hu Tao right on top of the body avatar drive. And they'll immediately start following the character in, this, in the scene or the person dancing. Awesome. I want to put the textures on again. By now, you're already a pro at this. So you'll click Add Asset, Import from Computer. I'll click Textures, and I'll shift-click and add all the textures to the assets. Perfect. Once again, I'm going to click Body Mat, add the texture here. We'll scroll down. Hu Tao Body. I'll go to the Face Mat. I'll do the same thing. And lastly, the hair. Wow, looking great. So right now it perfectly copies the person in this in the preview windows dancing in motion. But it also, I don't really want to overwrite them. I want them to have their own sort of dance moves going on as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the body avatar drive that's in our hierarchy. And I'm going to uncheck follow body position. Now, using the same scaling method I showed you earlier, you can scale them down and make them dance next to our little friend. Now it's like a whole, whole dance party going on. We can also duplicate this and we can try making a, a sort of trio dance party. Why don't we do that? Body avatar drive. I will duplicate Hu Tao and click them just like that. Once again, going to uncheck follow body position. And we'll move them over just like that. Perfect. Now we have a whole, a whole dance squad. I hope you enjoyed this Genshin Impact tutorial. Please be sure to check out the TikTok Effect House learning resources for more information. See you later.